last night. Who knows, Meg? You might have made a baby. If you did, I'm the luckiest man on earth. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It was just one time. Yes, that's true. I think we actually should get a little insurance on that. Hmm? I had Millicent put together a lovely little breakfast for you. Would you like some orange juice? Yeah, only if you're going to put champagne in it, because I have fantastic news. Really? What? Yeah, that was Reverend Jordan on the phone, and you and I have a wedding date. <gasps> when? <laughs> Halloween. Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. You having second thoughts about having a baby? No, I've always wanted a baby. It's just that... You imagined that would be with somebody else, is that it? Always comes back to Paul. Honey, is there something um, wrong? Uh, that I don't know about because I had kind of sort of thought that you were serious when you asked me. Of course I was serious. Well, how can you suggest Halloween? What's wrong with Halloween? Well, doesn't it bother you that it's a day that stands for trickery and deception? You know, if you love me the way that you say you do, that is the last day on earth that you would want for our wedding day. I don't see what's so wrong with Halloween. I think it's a perfect day for us to get married. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if, you, if you want your wedding to be a complete joke. I wouldn't joke about us getting married. Look, I could, I'd go to Las Vegas right now on an airplane and get married there if I thought that's what you wanted. That's not what you wanted. No, is that's it? not what I want because I'd just like to have maybe two or three people that I care about there present at my wedding, including my sister. Well, look, I know Carly's not well enough to travel. I know that we have to stay here in town. Yes, but that doesn't explain your morbid choice of dates. Okay. So, last night when we were talking, you said that you would really like for the Reverend Jordan to marry us. And I thought, you know, I took you seriously. Yes, he's a wonderful man. Well, then, Halloween is the day that he's available, unless you want to wait for, like, three months until he's available again. You don't uh, want to wait three months. You don't want to wait that long, do no, you? No, don't. Of course not. Maybe you want to go to City Hall. I don't know. You want to stand online with a bunch of people who are there to pay parking tickets? I'll pass. Halloween. Marry me on Halloween. <laughs> okay. Halloween. Okay. Halloween it you is. Know, it's actually, it's a fitting day for us to get married. Is it? Why? Yeah, because we've both risen from the dead. <laughs> I think it's a perfect day for us to commit ourselves to one another. Again. Okay. Mm. Can we... Please, for the last time, keep Paul Ryan out of our bed. What, you think I'm the one keeping him here? Yes. I am over him, Craig. I wish you'd get over him, too. All right, then what's the matter? Why are you pulling away? I, I didn't. We made love. We started trying for a baby last night. I just wish you wouldn't turn this into some kind of race to the finish line. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? You can't blame me for enjoying the process here. You're right, there's no rush. And who knows? You might be pregnant already. Nice to see you. Come Thank on you. In. How are you today? Fine. Fine. I, I, I wish I had something to offer you. Oh, oh please. Come on. We don't expect you to play hostess. Yeah, we just wanted to give you some good news. Oz, I could use some good news. Paul and I set a date. That's great. That is good news. That's great. Look, I am so oh. happy that you guys have found each other again. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to track down my mom and give her the good news. And listen, uh, the fact that you're happy for us, I know it means a lot to your sister, but it means a lot to me, too. You know, I always thought I would want another son, but I am discovering I really don't have a preference. So if you would like to have a little princess... I thought you said there was no rush. There's not. I'm, I'm just dreaming. There's nothing wrong with planning for the future. 
Well, that's just it, Craig. The more I think about bringing a baby into this world, the more I realize we're not very well prepared. Why would you say that? Now that the criminal charges have been dropped, I can move ahead with the civil suit. Once we've got a settlement from that, you and I will be able to give our child anything his or her heart desires. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count on the proceeds from the settlement just yet. Rosanna is also suing Montgomery Enterprises. We could still lose everything. You're just having parental jitters. Do not dismiss my concerns, Craig. We need to think about this. It's Mama. We'll continue where we left off a little bit later.